What's up YouTube, I'm Vaughn and this is the Gear Channel where we discuss collectibles, hobbies, cabal games from tabletop to video games and today we are finally reviewing the Master Grade Double Zeta Gundam Verkai Now we've been working on this for quite a bit of time but now we're finally done and it's ready to be reviewed. Now the market price for this Gunplay is about like $9 which is not so bad especially for what you're getting. Now before we begin, friendly reminder as always to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel a lot and I do really appreciate it. So with that all the way, let's get started. Here he is in all his glory. Now you can clearly see he looks incredible. I actually really love the transformation of this Gunpla. It's really fun to actually do and it comes in like different like modes as well. So you can have lots of fun when transforming this specific Gunpla. Now we are going to point out some issues that I might have a little bit or some like inconvenience. But in all in all, it's actually a really great uh mobile suit like it could transform pretty well it's always fun there's a few like aesthetic issues that i have an issue like a little bit of a gap but all in all it looks quite cool let's check out his other transformations so starting first with the upper half yes it does detach and it looks incredible now sadly you're going to notice that we're going to get more core fighters but it only includes two pilots while well, in total it's going to be like three constantly pretty much so surprisingly you're going to always have at least one of the jets without a pilot which is kind of a shame but it is what it is and here is the lower half which i think looks really really cool so i really have no complaint at all with them divided i think both of them look equally as cool now let's check out the core fighters and here are the core fighters now they look pretty amazing and this is what i meant by it only comes with two pilots so it's either that you always have to switch them around but i feel like it was necessary to just include the three pilots so we didn't have to always open them up switch them around like constantly but in all it's amazing gumpla like neither the less now i think it's about time we transform them and here he is in his mobile suit mode. Now I have to tell you that this Gumpla definitely has some issues a little bit. It's more of like, there's quite a bit of like inconvenience. Like even like the hands, the specific hands that you always have to change just for the transformation, which I think is kind of weird because just a regular close fish would usually be as good, but clearly not. And also I'm not a big fan of the leg gap like we're going to get a closer look but aesthetically he does look amazing there's just a few like nitpicks that i would have to say but all, in all it's still an amazing gunplay and another issue i do have that I just remember is that there's actually no weapon storage for his uh gun so if you want him to hold like two beam sabers instead of holding his gun there's not really a place to actually put it so he's always going to be holding his gun all the time. Now let's take a close up look and check out some articulation. So starting with his head, yeah, it could actually turn all right. It lifts a little bit, but all in all, you have to be careful of the V fin because it's supposed to go downwards for transformation, but it ends up always coming up all the time. There's actually a lot of cool articulation in the arms, but it's very limited because of the back and there's no way to actually like remove the back because it's attached to its pelvis. So that might be an issue, but you could spread out or you have an extra joint over here. One thing that I thought was really cool is that he has thumb articulation, not index finger articulation, but just the thumb so you can actually move it and I thought this was actually really, really cool. Um, there is loose parts on the forearm mostly because of the transformation, but yeah, he has a very decent bend. So if you want to do like a nice shield pose as well, you definitely could do that. Okay. Now for the waist there's not really anything It's just a little pivot, like on uh, the bottom over here, it doesn't move that much. So you could rotate it a little bit, especially if you move the skirts a bit, there we go. So move it out. There's a tiny bit of a rotation that you could do, but not by much. But uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, he's very limited when it comes to articulation. Aesthetically, he looks amazing, I find. But yeah, for the legs, that's why I meant by the little like gap that he has over here. So I'm not really a big fan of that gap per se, but oh, well, it's okay. Now for his legs articulation, he could actually kick decently if we actually move a few things around but yeah you're going to always have to move things around 
and then he could do a decent bend as well he is limited because of the back once again but yeah nice knee bend he has actually quite a bit of articulation because it's on a ball joint for this it's kind of stiff though but yeah you could actually pivot quite well so there's no issue over here so that i thought was uh Pretty good. So standing wise, he doesn't really have an issue, even though the back is top heavy. You just have to angle it just a little bit better. But in all, it's actually amazing. And look at all these great details. Other functionalities he could do is open these up. So these are actually the blasts over here. So quite cool, as you can see. So I thought that was really unique. Okay, so these are the beam sabers. So the beam saber, so we'll check accessories as well. But yeah, like I said, for the gun, there's not really any place to actually store it. So if we take the beam saber, so over here, these are humongous. So we're going to have to switch his hands over here. So this is the regular close fist, if uh, my camera wants to focus. So over here, this is the regular close fist with the articulated thumb. Now what he has right over here already is actually, I uh, have to move him out of the way. I'll just bring them onto the side for now. But yeah, so what we have over here is for transformation. So it's not the same. It doesn't articulate nothing. It's just a tad bit smaller, as you can see. So that's the only way to fit it for the transformation. You can't just leave his regular hand in, which is kind of a shame. I think that's a missed opportunity. But yeah, so we're going to switch this out so he's able to hold it. So let's go and put it over here. So yeah, I didn't remove the numb marks on the hand, so my apologies for that. But yeah, so we just have to peg this. So it's quite big, his blaster. And then he does have two beams for it, so you could actually just put it in like this. Okay, and then move him. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too crazy about the the shear part because it doesn't rotate because here the elbow bend is on this side and over here so you're always going to have to place it like this which i really don't like doing most of the time so he loses his uh, articulation in his elbow because of that because how you place it but all he does hold it quite well so there's definitely no issue of him holding it and it is a very big beam saver so now i think it's about time we check some size comparison here he is next to the high grade reborn gundam here he is next to the master grade wing gundam custom verkai here he is next to the master grade zazabi verkai which all in all i think they look quite good together and finally here he is next to our perfect grade strike freedom gundam and that's it for our review of the Master Grade Double Zeta Gundam Verkai. Now, all in all, even though with all the small nick picks, I do have to say this is an amazing Gunpla. And it's probably one of my favorite Gunplas I actually own because I do really enjoy the transformation and it's lots of fun. And I think he looks really cool. And even the size is quite decent as well. So I have really no complaints of it, especially like aesthetically. There's just like maybe the legs that I said for like the gaps. But all, it's not so bad. And overall, if you check on the price points and also with all the plastics, the accessories, the functionalities, it's definitely one that's quite worth it. Now, if you guys enjoyed today's review, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And if you want a sneak peek of future products we're planning to review here on the channel, you can follow me on my Instagram, Vaughn Gear. I'm Vaughn, and this was the Gear Channel.